I have to apologize, my screen capture is kind of a low resolution and it also makes my typing sound like I'm typing with a, a set of hammers. So I apologize for my loud typing and clicking. <clears throat> so the that journal list, that is something that I remember um, your instructor informed me was mostly solved by um, this one little trick. And I should have showed this to somebody else that I was just talking with. So hopefully this won't trip anybody else up. From the research databases at the Merritt Library, if you go to the databases by subject, and I'm going to communication, the first one, and I caused this to, to show up here because this is the best communication database, best point of entry for communication, communication studies across the board. When you go into this one, you will have the option right down here that says scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Another one, if you click on references available, sometimes they have in scholarly peer-reviewed journals, they have like letters to the editor and things that are just not scholarly, like commentaries, I think you had mentioned as well. If you go to one that says references available, you omit all of those and then you just get the, the good scholarly articles that you're looking for. This will narrow it down. It's not perfect because there'll still be something that probably won't be on your list, but this will help you narrow it down. Now, on your keywords, I remember you were talking about, um, you used the word gendering and young and media and, and things like that. When you are looking in um, scholarly works and you're not quite sure, are they talking about gender, genders, gendering? Let me show you a trick in this particular database that works. I think, I'm not sure if this, I think it works different in legal. Um, but if you just do gender, and then you do a star, that is called a wildcard search in this particular database. It will give you all of those iterations. So your prefix is gender, the suffix will be everything under the sun, including nothing. It'll, it'll catch gender as well. That's one way to um, get around that. Another one is, I'm going to type in the word and just to um, set this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh no, my video. Okay, ignore this OS update. <coughs> Let's go back to this one. Gender, you were looking at um, a type of communication or media or things like that. Since we're in this big bucket of media and communication, you don't need to throw that in as a keyword. It's already inferred. It's inherently going to be inside this database. So you don't need to type that in. But for the last one in Young, oftentimes social scientists in particular they won't often refer to um, kids as being young. They'll always, always refer to them as maybe like an age range or a school or grade range. Um, so on this one, I'm going to do that same wildcard trick. And I'm just going to do child and do the star. And so that will catch um, child, children, iterations that you might find in there. And then the very last one when you're talking about when parents or media is influencing um, how a, a child perceives their gender. Um, am I one way or am I the other? Or am I a mixture of this? Am I looking at this side? There's so much going on that thankfully, this doesn't always happen, but thankfully is it's pretty refined into the word identity. If I could spell that right. Identity. That catches a lot. Doesn't always work. Um, but this is a great word. A lot of people use that in social science, psychology, a whole bunch of different ways. They're looking at identity. Using this keyword set, and again, we're looking at scholarly peer-reviewed works, we're going to get some that, that might not talk about um, an age range that you're looking for. And here we have things that are not in English. But all of a sudden, you're going to get here. All of a sudden, we're going to get things like where it's parents talking about something, or you're going to be talking about fathers, or you're going to get into the things where they're talking about children themselves. It's really a lot more focused. And hopefully, these will have the things that you're looking for. Uh, but since every interruption in this email is not going to bring me down, if you're not quite sure, and we still have a pretty good set, there's 73 scholarly articles. If you're not quite sure where to go from here, if you go to this subject, these are called facets down the side. If you go to this subject facet and then click on show more, 
you can see all of these different things that people are labeling their articles with using metadata. That's the keywords that authors use to describe their articles so people can find it in a database like this. These might be the things that you're looking for. So there's things like ethnicity, there's group identity, all of these different ways that they're looking at. Immigration, this is great. There's a lot of good stuff in here. It doesn't talk about the media specifically, so if you're interested in television per se, you would use that as one of your keywords. So gender and identity and child and television. So you could pick your particular media. But uh, don't get hung up on the media because right now there's so much media that you might get lost in um, finding very little because people are talking about media generically rather than specifically television. So when I was a kid, television was king. That's, it was, you could study things ad nauseum in great detail. But these days, there's nothing, there's no media monopoly on anything in particular. So I would advise you to stay loose on that one. Um, oh, one last thing. If you see this and it says PDF full text, you're good to go because you could see the, the scholarly article itself. If you run across something that says linked full text or you see something that says a find it or get it button, all I'm seeing, oh, here we go. If you see this view it or find it button and it's the perfect article, it's exactly the one that you want, I can help you get to it. Um, if you click on this view it and find it and it says no electronic full text available or something like that, it looks like it's choking. Oh no, it actually sent me to the full text. This doesn't always happen. If you run stuck, don't spend a lot of time on it. Just send me the citation. You could even just cut and paste this whole thing and send it to me in an email. I'll track it down for you and I'll get it as fast as I possibly can, typically less than a day. Um, so don't let that be a barrier if you find the perfect article, okay? Let me know if I can help further. I'm very happy to do so.